Python, and the Pi camera. One of the most exciting parts of a Raspberry Pi is the ability to add a camera. The Pi camera can take photos and record video. You can control the camera with just a few lines of code, and you can even create your own photo booth, portable camera, or time-lapse camera system by using the Pi camera and your new Python skills. Materials. Raspberry Pi, Model 3B+, micro USB power supply, HDMI cord, HDMI monitor, 8 gig micro SD card, Pi camera. Key concepts. Pi camera, effects, video. Project, taking photos with Pi camera. One of the best parts of a Raspberry Pi is that you can connect a camera and create a bunch of very cool projects with it. Let's start by connecting the camera to our Raspberry Pi board. Check out the picture for help. Make sure your Pi is unplugged from power before you add the camera. You will notice the metallic side and the blue side of the Pi camera ribbon. You wanna make sure that the blue side is facing the headphone port and the metallic side is facing the HDMI port. Be very gentle when you lift the lid of the camera port. You do not need to pull very hard to get it up. You can break it with too much force. Slide the ribbon all the way down and then close the camera port. Once everything is plugged in, you can turn on the power to the Raspberry Pi. When the Pi boots to the desktop, go to the menu, go to Preferences, and select Raspberry Pi Configuration. Click the Interfaces tab and check the camera section. It should be enabled. If not, enable it. You will need to reboot the computer. If it was already enabled, close everything and get ready to take some pictures. Point your camera somewhere, open the terminal, and type the following. This is telling the computer to take a picture. Wait a second after you hit enter and the picture will be taken. We called it PyCone, but you could call it whatever you'd like. It is saved in slash home slash pi. To view the photo, you need to type the following command in the terminal. This will bring up the image. If it is blurry, make sure to wipe the lens clean if you touch it with your fingers during installation, or you might have left the plastic protective piece on the lens. Code. Let's get started with a Python script now that we know your camera is working. Let's do a quick preview test of the camera. Type the following code in a new Thony tab. We set the preview to last 10 seconds. You can adjust that if it seems too long. This is always a nice code to run to see if your camera is in the right spot for a project. We use a simple start and stop command with a camera function. Selfie time. To take a picture, type the following code. In this code, we are starting the camera preview, letting it stay on for five seconds, then taking a picture. After the picture is taken, it is saved and named based on what we typed in the parentheses after the camera.capture. We are saving it on the desktop and calling it image.jpg. After the picture is taken and stored on the desktop, the preview will end and the program will end. Take as many pictures as you like. The photo will be written over after every picture. multiple pictures at once. You might want to take a series of photos and have them all saved. Here's how you can do that. Take a look at the following code. Notice that we create a for loop with i in range of five. We also use sleep to determine how much time is between each photo. We use the percentages token to name each photograph taken. The percentages will be replaced with whatever we place after the percentage sign in the file name. In this case, we set for five. That means we are going to see image zero dot JPG, image one dot JPG, and so on. Image effects. You can actually change the effects of your photos you take. These are cool filters to spice up your photos. Here's a list of the filters. You would add one line of code to change the effect of your photo. Here's a simple picture code to add color swap effect. We added camera.image underscore effect equals 
Color Swap. You can change the effect by choosing from the list above. This code will take a picture and use each one of the effects. They will be labeled by effect so you know which ones you like. Camera Settings Sometimes you're going to want to tweak the settings for the camera. Here's a list of settings that can be adjusted. The last few are the ones you are most likely to use for your Pi camera. You might need to flip or rotate the camera because of the way your project is set up with the camera. You can do that by changing the false to true or adjust the rotation from zero to the degree that meets your needs. You would add this line after the camera equals Pi camera open and close parenthesis. Recording videos. The Pi camera can do more than just take photos. It can record video. Enter the following code in a new Thony tab. You will notice that the code is very similar to the code for taking a picture. We changed the camera.capture to camera.start underscore recording, and we changed the file to end with .h264. Sleep is used to determine how long the video will record. We stop the recording and the preview when we are done. You can add all the same effects to video recording that you can for taking a picture. If you're having stabilization issues, add this line of code. Challenge. How could you use the camera and Python to create a time-lapse photo sequence?